So the time has come. 20K sub week. And you might be asking yourself, what the hell does that mean? Who celebrates 20K subs when they got 21K subs and let alone does it for a whole goddamn week? Me. I'm doing this for a whole week because I had a lot of different ideas and a lot of different things coming up for the 20K sub, but I got caught up with the Kaiba Cup and everything else. Now is the time. I want to start off the 20K sub week with this because I feel like before I get to talking about myself, where I've been, where I'm going and everything else, I want to talk about what really matters. The people who helped build this channel, which are you, the subscribers. Now I can't necessarily go through my subscribers and talk about every single subscriber and every single video that they upload. But on this video, I can talk about three subscribers that I can definitely see are working hard on something that they're passionate about and I want to share it with you. Because someone back in the day told me that Yu-Gi-Oh would get me nowhere in life and Yu-Gi-Oh has gotten me somewhere in life. Yu-Gi-Oh has taken me all, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh has literally provided for me way more than Duel Links and way more than just this YouTube channel. Yu-Gi-Oh has profoundly changed my life for the better and one day you will get that story, but it won't be today. I know I keep saying that, but the way I want to make the story is I don't have the skill to make it, but it is, it's a long time. It's a long time, 20 years in the making, and I got a feeling that it's gonna be coming around soon. So I'm really glad that I'm able to be here to give you guys this, and I'm glad that you guys are here to receive it. So here are some YouTubers that you guys should really check out. And I thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and supporting me. Keep it deck. Now another channel I want to really put some shine on is this channel, LJ. Now the cool thing about LJ's channel is someone who has basically been putting up random dank memes for the past three or four years. And he's been subscribed to me for about three or four years. At this point, it's really cool to see someone who's been subbed to me so long have so much growth and progression with something that they love and clearly are passionate with doing. Now, the, I want to really point out that this guy has some has a really dank sense of humor. And when you're watching his animations, he has so many Easter eggs and small things that only the initiated can truly appreciate. Hey, man, why is there a nest on my chili dog? Because... You didn't order it. Oh, well, I want a refund. Sorry, but we have a policy. No refund! So check out the boy AJ's channel and crush his sub button today. The next channel I want to shine some light on is the Quincy Scott YouTube channel. Now this channel is a little bit unique when it comes to other YouTube channels because this channel is a portfolio of work as this person is a videographer, photographer, and graphics design artist. Now this person is showing off his work and his skill here to attract new customers to his site. And the cool thing about Quincy Scott is that as you go through his portfolio, you can see a lot of different bodies of work from lots of different types of artists. But as someone who's trying to learn different videography techniques, I can definitely appreciate the work that he's putting in on each and every video that he has created. He's got over a year of experience. He's putting in the hard work. He's dedicated. And my boys, he's right here for you. So check out his channel. Links in the description below. And crush the sub button. And I'll show y'all. Well, I guess I'll show y'all my makeup. I'm still baking right now. Um, my throat is just like falling through the roof. 
I feel like my heart is about to cave in. I'm going through some things, y'all, but we got to make this work because everybody wants me to turn up tonight. And I think my version of turning up is literally like sitting down there, being there. It's me turning up because I don't go out. Y'all know this already. So I don't want to do all that. And the last channel I want to talk about, honestly, is my favorite of the three. Is this channel called the Bahoopla Master? This Bahoopla guy is absolutely fantastic because number one, you can tell that he has a lot of passion for what it is that he does. He has a lot of editing and he has a dank meme sense of humor. Now don't, now, don't get me wrong, dank boys ain't the only way that I'm gonna give somebody some recognition. However, this guy really got me right off the bat with his passion and his knowledge of Nani. I, I just I just, I just was praising you. You ruined everything. You just you just ruined it. Yeah, you, uh, you just you ruined it. You ruined it. You, you ruined it. You you ruining it all. You, you fucked it up. I, I gotta go. I, 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 I gotta go. Kids are freaking edgy these days. Uh, why? Jeez, finally he's gone. Gosh, now I have to clean up this mess. Atari had a chip called the Atari TIA, and this chip allowed the Atari to have two voices that would be used to organize sound. The downside to using this chip, however, is that the Atari TIA also controlled the screen display and reading input of controllers. Now, of course, you could still make music with this chip, but to do so, you'd have to have very little going on screen while music is playing. Here's an example of something you could do with the Atari TIA chip. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is definitely an interesting game, and of all the games that I've ever played online, it's the ones where I've built the most connections. But throughout all the different connections, the craziest thing is seeing all these other folks doing some of the same things that I'm doing right here on this website. So I want to point out just a couple guys that I like to watch and a couple guys I think you guys should check out too, and please don't get salty or disgusted if I didn't mention your channel here because I can't possibly mention everyone, but I did want to make sure I pointed out just a few. So, without any further ado, let's get right into the channel. The first channel I want to talk about is my boy Mario ZRG. Now, I watch his channel all the time, and I also like to check out a lot of his streams. Uh, the cool thing I like about Mario ZRG is just his cool and collected, laid-back personality. A lot of times when I'm watching his content, I watch it or mainly listen to it when I'm editing videos, and that's normally the best for me because as somebody who's making content, a lot of time I don't get a chance to just watch YouTube videos, but I definitely love watching a good Mario ZRG video. And the cool thing about Mario ZRG is that this man is waiting patiently, and I mean patiently, for the release of Jinzo. Konami, stop abusing this man. Release Jinzo now so that my boy Mario ZRG can build the deck we both know he deserves and need. Release Genzo now so Mario ZRG can build his soul deck. But check out his channel, my boys, and check out what he has going on in this clip. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. Today I have for you a Cyber Archfiend deck. Uh, this is the new card from the um, PvP Rank Rewards. Uh, but with one floodgate and a super rush, I felt pretty safe. Gishkia Kumira. He's gonna uh, tribute summon, I mean, ritual summon uh, Evigishki. Tetogre with Benton putting him at 3800 attack. But thanks to my floodgate, I don't have to worry about that. I draw two cards because of Cyber Archfiend, so I get two chances to blow him up. Boom. Nice and easy.
Now this next channel needs no introduction. It's Brad HD. This channel and Brad basically keeps up with what's going on with Dual Links, uh, giving us the best news, leaks, and all types of data mine information. It's just, his channel is just a great source for any type of information in regards to Dual Links. Um, and also his older videos is kind of stands as like a library as to what's been going on in the game and how it's been evolving and changing. I definitely enjoy watching all his videos and I definitely got the man's notification bell crushed. So check out some of his dueling talents from one of his live streams. Oh, it's Brad HD. He got tilted earlier. What did he get tilted by, my boy? What did he get tilted by? That's what it was going to say. So I'm glad I didn't clickbait you in saying Amazonus was good. Because right now they're kind of proving to be kind of crappy. Go, firm as earth. I set the warrior returning alive face down and then I play parallel twister to uh to get rid of the warrior returning alive to destroy your vision hero trinity <laughs> if this actually works and then I attack you directly with Amazonas right what is everyone doing today Konami I doubt any of you guys are gonna watch this video, but in the small chance that you guys are, I do not know what you guys are thinking, okay? Whoever you guys hired for running, you know, the Duel Links development under your organization, I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but why would you guys announce that there's gonna be a superb legendary duelist coming to Duel Links and have it be Taya? Out of all the characters you're gonna give Superb and Taya put together. I don't understand. The last person I would think that is a superb legendary duelist would be Taya freaking Gardner. Now, I'm sorry to any fans of Taya Gardner. If she's your waifu, it's okay. That's fine. I just don't think superb and Taya work together, okay? It just doesn't sound like a recipe that's supposed to be happening. Uh, I, I did a quick Google on, you know, good Google, and I, I searched up superb, found the definition of it, and it means excellent. And I don't think Taya's excellent. I'm sorry. But I will admit, though, this uh, support that we're going to be getting from Superb Taya when she is going to be coming to Duel Links, we're going to get a bunch of fairy support, which sounds really cool. I'm pretty excited for it. So let's get on to today's video. What? 007. Now, this guy's channel, I love it so much because he's got a great sense of humor and he covers pretty much everything. It's a bit of a mixed bag. You know, he gives us a little bit of leak info, a little bit of KLG type stuff just random dual links content comes from what pretty much almost whatever he feels like uploading but i enjoy his personality a lot and he does have a great sense of humor as you saw with the intro preceding it now i want to point out one last thing i did not have a lot of time to cover everybody i wanted to in this review so there are a couple more channels i want you guys to check out i want you guys to check out iml I want you guys to check out Playmaker Duel Links. And I want you guys to check out RNG Light. Those are also three channels that I also watch, but I didn't have time to fit them all in this video. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos. The links are in the description for all these channels and everyone that I mentioned here. And I really hope that you guys help to support these guys' dreams as you guys have helped support mine. Give them a like, subscribe, check out their channels. And as always, my boys, keep it dank.